Hello there and welcome back to Minecraft. Now in between episodes I figured out how to add blocks to the vein miner registry. So uh, all of the, at the very least the overworld ores for Advent of Ascension have been added to the vein mine list that I know of. I mean I, I probably missed one or two. But that means we can vein mine them now. So we don't have to worry about you know mining out each individual block. We can just do this. Bam. And that was, yeah, that was like 26, 36 blocks, just instantly. Well, I guess it's night time. So, I want to try to find those, um, I think there was a bunch of amethyst and stuff lying around, and I don't remember where. Um, I'll take this gold though. Ooh. Could have sworn that was going to come down on my head. Um, there was a bunch of amethyst and stuff around here, and I don't remember where it was. I was hoping to find it, but I guess it was somewhere else. Must have been. Ah, oh, well. There'll be plenty of time, I guess. Um, I know there was at least some down here, but I wasn't sure if there was any down this way. So. And there is some more lemonite, which I'm going to take, simply because it's currently our, like, our main metal. We're going to use all of our tools out of that. And just get up the goddamn waterfall, and there we go. Grab a tin. Tin's always good. And hopefully, hopefully there's a fair bit of jade and amethyst around here, because... Uh, you do quite often need a help. Uh, you do quite often need it. So I want to make sure I've got enough to last me a little while. That's quite unlikely, however. Um, more luminite. There's some amethyst. Grab the iron. Um, oh, I can't believe there was the entrance to the to the mineshaft the entire time and we're always looking down like this. God damn it. Alright, well, while we're here we may as well see what's in it. Um, no. There doesn't look to be any, uh, any mobs in this either because it's probably still in- ooh, rosite, yes, good shit. It's probably still in the mushroom biome. So. Hopefully we can grab some good stuff without having too much of a fight on our hands. Hell, we already got Rosai, that's pretty good. And... Any more? No? Gold. Take gold. Always take gold. And... Oh. Man, this is really, really confusing. Go this way. Ow. More gold. And... Yes! Amethyst! There we go. Some amethyst here. Make some... Oh god. Alright. What's down here? More mineshaft. Oh, there looks, sounds to be a spider. Hmm. I guess we're getting close. Close to the evils again. And we'll just try to stay away from there for now. Grab what we can. And continue with our lives. Feel, it, I'll admit it feels good again, sort of just playing Minecraft. Lately I've had a series of mod packs where it's just quest after quest after quest and now it's nice to just do whatever on a world that isn't just a skyblock. I've also been playing a lot of skyblock. So this is refreshing. 
I haven't played a general kitchen sink mod pack in a long time. Let's see, is there anything interesting down here? Ah, we'll take the runium. And uh, I don't know if I can be bothered going around there. Um, go around it because I can't be bored. What are we looking like for inventory space? We need to get going soon. Ooh, a block of steel. That's good. Some electrotine. You know what? No, dead. Okay, we have a fair bit of this stuff now. So we have some rosite. Um, what do rosite? What are rosite ingots used for? Just better durability and strength stuff. Um, lamps and armor. Now a lot of the armor in Advent of Ascension has different stats or bonuses when you equip the full set. So full set bonus for Battleborn is increased battle rage generation when and when below 30% health, automatically fill rage to the maximum with a 30, 15 sec second cooldown. Um, we'll put all this stuff in here. Let's see, runium ore. That can be smelted into a runium chunk to make a rune shrine. Ooh, we should check out that. An enhancer several enhancers um cool i don't know what those do but i will look into it um amethyst gets funnily enough made into amethyst ingots um not as good for weapons made for amethyst ivory and amethyst lamp infusion blueprint Will, creates an infusion platform. Will locate, will locate player at center. Warning needs a seven by seven square. Okay. Ancient teleporter blueprint. Creation forge. Amethyst leggings grants immunity to full damage. Enhancer magic. Amethyst. Amethyst. Okay. So it looks like we're going to want to do some of these. However. We need obsidian and some diamonds. So, um, I'm going to, I guess, let's let's test out this teleportation altar or whatever it was called. What was it? The teleporter blueprint. The locate player at center warning needs a 12 by 10 square. Okay. So, dump all these in there. And we'll dump everything else back in the back in base. And actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm also going to go back for some um some obsidian. I sh I think I can vein mine obsidian. Let's just take a look at that. Vein miner block list I think it was down here actually nope where is it obsidian there we go we can definitely uh, vein mine obsidian so let's go back to that place where there was a bunch of it and I'll vein mine up a bunch of it and then come back because then we can try out that infusion altar as well and for now we'll put them just in the middle of like tucked in behind a, a valley somewhere so that oops so that if we decide we want to make like an area for them, um, they won't be too, like, we don't necessarily have to tear them down. Um, well, rather we will, we can just make another one instead of having to tear that one down because it's in the way or something. Um, where is it? Is it this way? Is this the way we headed? Um, seems like it. Is there some stuff up here? I mean, we've definitely been up here, so there's a good chance there's something. Oh, well, not there. Although, I haven't seen any apart from 
if we went down that chasm. So I'm going to go down there. Unless, of course, this leads somewhere. Nope. Okay. So we're going to jump down. Because that's the place where there seems to be a large concentration of... Actually, like down here. Um, yes, here is where we were. Here is where I remember seeing a lot of stuff. So, um, some lemonite. Always grab more lemonite. Um, some, ooh, some rosite. And that reminds me, we should look up what uh, what jadeite is useful for. No, sorry, not jadeite, just jade. Um, where is the rest of it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Ah, jadeite thick. That's where I. That's where I got jadeite from. That's a. Uh, that's a location in Final Fantasy XIV. No, I swear there was more. There's gotta be. Oh, we went down here, didn't we? I can tell because of the crafting table. And there's a bunch more lemonite. You know what, I take it back. Lemonite's probably the one thing we we could have enough of. Ah, there's some jade. Oh, you stupid prick. Just, uh, excuse me while I cheat in a... No, actually, no, I'm not going to. Um, I've got to go back and repair my pickaxe, because I'm an idiot. I accidentally busted it all while making, um... Where is it? There we go. I accidentally busted my pickaxe while mining other shit, so... Fucking stupid. Alright. So... 12 minutes. Let's head back down there. I'm sorry there's been a lot of mining recently. It's, that's the way it is with Minecraft, is that it starts with a lot of mining and then eventually you get to make things, well, rather in modded Minecraft you get to make things that get things for you. So eventually we'll make thing, something like a quarry or a, um, an ender quarry or just some kind of miner um, down this way. And then we all we need to do is power that and it will get some ores for us, which is very handy. Being in the uh, automated gathering age is fucking great. Sorry, automated acquisition age is, as the uh, devs put it, no, maybe not the devs, maybe it was just some guide writer I saw. Either way. Um, Ooh, and it doesn't take too long with this pickaxe either, so that's be nice. 70, 80, 90, 100. Oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Alright, well, that was nearly dangerous. And we'll get, some, we'll get a little bit more because I need it for several things. Apparently I'm drowning. Alright. I'm clearly out of the water. Well, I'm in the water, my head is out of it. Oh, and because I'm underwater, it's making me mine for- oh! I nearly threw my pickaxe in the lava. Alright, well I guess we're not making another one. Um, we will make the nether portal over here somewhere. I tell you what, we'll, we'll put it in the cave over here, so it's out of the way. Doop. Doop. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop. 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 Nope, nope. And 
and I don't have a flint and steel. God damn it. Alright. We do have steel though. And I can just get some flint from some gravel. So, we should be able to now go to the nether. Um, just as soon as I get some gravel. Do I have some in my chests? Yes, I do. Flint and steel. In this, it's actually it's flint and actual steel. Whereas in the original Minecraft, it was just uh, flint and iron. You didn't have to make it steel. I think I spawned an NPC over there. So let's actually go talk to him before we head in. Because he might sell us something. Yep, that's an NPC. Eat some food so we can sprint. Not exactly very not exactly very cautious with my food. Hello friend. Entity never mind naturalist. Selyan is one with the world. Bubbleberry seeds, heart fruit seeds, magic meringue seeds, thorn plant seeds. We have some of those. That's good to know. We don't have to trade them for it. And because they are agricraft seeds, we only need to buy one. So, um, with agricraft, all you need to do is place down some crop sticks next to a. Uh, yeah. If you plant something in crop sticks, which is a, a an item that it adds, and then plant double crop sticks next to it, it will um, it will eventually grow into the neighboring block, which basically means you can duplicate um, seeds. It's very good for starting a a sort of garden out of only one seed. But now though, nether time. And no, nope, we're not being instantly attacked, but we aren't in a very good place. Oh, no, it's it's okay. Now the question is what kind of mob mobs do we have in here? Because I don't remember. Near the lapis, near the tin. Ooh, that over there, I think, is a fire altar for crafting fire runes the, uh, of the advent of ascension kind. Great, what are you? Oh, oh god, it, that's right, if, if we look at him, he teleport, we teleport to him. Oh god, that was, we nearly died. And we're going to die because I only have one heart. Oh! Fire altar! That's cool. Rude. Rude! Alright, well. Now that we're in the nether, now that we know we can get to the nether, let's just uh, take a look at. This is, it was amethyst stuff, right? Oh yeah, it's in the smeltery still. Um. 34, all right, well. Oops, I just did an iron ingot. Not an amethyst ingot. Okay. Now, what was it used for again? It was... Oh, you know what? We should probably actually swap this for the casting basin. Simply because it's faster. Nope. I cannot make amethyst blocks. Alright, that's actually very quite annoying. Ah, good to know though. Alright, so it was two amethysts and a seven obsidian. So we have that right now. And I'll build that next to our own, uh, next to our old little platform over there, because it's in a little dip. It doesn't obscure the the um, landscape too much. And bam. That's cool. I like how it has back. I like how it has background music. Um. Now I don't know. 
how to oops this is not what I wanted that's the old guide for uh, getting started on the uh, F2BF Infinity Evolved. I don't know how to work in Fusion. I will. I really wish I had a second monitor, to be honest, um, so I could start looking things up on there. But, um, oh, there's a goddamn crafting table right here. Okay. Um, so I don't know, basically, I don't know any of the, um, of these mechanics like I don't know what any of these skills are so I will look these now that we've got Lemonite and we can get started on stuff like this I will I'll, I'll look into it um, because this will be the last recording for the night so I will have all the evening to, re to investigate it everything up to now has been one recording not one recording I haven't I haven't left the room basically so that's fun Actually, no, I got dinner. But other than that, uh, you're a liar. Um, so, eight amethyst, one diamond. I think we might have our first teleportation altar. So, um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to just show you this area from an aerial view. I'm thinking we might just scatter them around here. Um, rather than making, rather than worrying about like clean grids and everything like that, we're just gonna plonk them down. And hopefully it looks okay. Later on I can change it by the looks of things cause, oh, okay. I accidentally made, I. I accidentally used it while in creative mode, but, um, yeah, okay. But, uh, I'm thinking we might just plunk them around here, and if they look bad, then I can get rid of them. Yeah, harvestable pickaxe. Um, if they look fine, well then, we'll leave them like that. So um, I'll just I'll just let myself duplicate that one. Um, put another one over down here. A lake of sombrero. And then for labeling, we can just put some blocks over top of them that indicate which world they go to. But for now, we don't have any rune stones. Oops, I'm sorry if that just froze for you. Yep, it froze. One second. I accidentally minimized Minecraft and OBS is trying to record the window. So, it doesn't exactly go very well. For now, I'll just take a sip. Wow, that is quite unfortunate. God damn it. For those of you who play Minecraft, you'll know that even at the best of times, it's unstable as hell. It's quite a surprise at how unstable it is considering how big it is. Uh, you'd think that add a lot more, you know, stability to it, reliability, but yeah. I mean, admittedly, right now we're running mods, so it's even more unstable, but even vanilla Minecraft is just, it can be shaky sometimes. I guess I'm cutting this out though, because it doesn't look to be responding. Um, OBS's view of it has frozen. Oops, and I minimized it again. But well, hopefully it'll be fine. Oh, nope, stop doing that. But yeah, well, for now, I'll leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope I hope you enjoyed it. I do appreciate each and every view, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!